I want to talk about a new configuration option in Mark Edit that's turned off by default, um, though it might change somewhere down um, in the future. Um, Mark Edit doesn't crash often, but it does occasionally. Uh, there are times where you run across data that causes it problems, um, and, and that's always an unpleasant feeling when you're working within the Mark Editor um, and find that something's crashed and you lose work. <clears throat> so I've introduced an autosave option. Um, if you go into the preferences, um, you'll find under the Mark Editor, uh, if you go down here, you'll find um, that there is an option to enable um, autosave. When the autosave is enabled, and it'll be disabled by default. When the autosave is enabled, um, what happens is when the um, editor is open, it will create a snapshot of the content in the editor every five minutes. And so in theory, you would only ever lose uh, five minutes of work. Uh, the way that the program works is it creates um, these files uh, in a uh, folder underneath the username space. Under configurations, there'll be an autosave folder. Um, content that is saved in here will show up here. Um, if the program uh, crashes and you reopen the application and there is an autosave file available for you to work with, um, you'll find a button that shows up down here, a link that says that there are autosave files available for you and you can click on that and then re, um, restore the file. Um, I will say that um, um, part of the reason I haven't turned it on by default is that um, if you work with multiple versions of Mark Edit, so let's say I have this version of the editor open and I have this version of the editor open, um, or let's say I'm working with a file here and I've been working on it for let's say 20 minutes and then I click on a version here and I haven't saved because once I save it clears the autosave stuff. So let's say I've been working for 20 minutes and I've done any saving and then I open this version here. You will very likely see a link down here that says there's an autosave file available even though it's not a crashed file, it's the autosave file for this particular um, version that's currently up and running. Um, trying to figure out a way to um, isolate these files um, so that they're per um, uh, so that they're a little bit more sandboxed between instances of the editors rather than having kind of a common save file location. Um, but I haven't really come up with a good approach yet, and I'm not quite sure how often users will run into this kind of um, seeing the, the save file, because I know a lot of people will save as they go through. I, it's probably very rare um, that users will um, uh, go through, say, 30 or 40 changes and then and not save somewhere in between. Um, so I'm not quite sure this, this will be a problem long term, and it may be that maybe I have to add an option so users can bump the autosave time period, um, because maybe five minutes is too short, maybe it should be 10 minutes. I know that's what the default is for Word. Um, I'm just not sure. And so we're gonna start with five, um, and, uh, and I'll get some feedback from the community, and then we'll see where we go from there.